I created this two row linear ball bearing out of 3D printed parts. It uses BBs for bearings and the results were pretty good. So I thought I would try a four row bearing as it would be able to carry a heavier load with more preload still allowing the balls to recirculate and I was amazed by the results. I'll show you how to assemble it. Alright the first thing you want to do then is put the pick a cap and put it on the carriage. And then put the carriage on the rail. You want to start building these with the carriage on the end of the rail. I'll explain why later. So you can start filling all four holes with BBs. This will take a little while. Once you have the holes full, you can push the bearings through. and then continue loading them. All right, once you have it full, we can move on to the next step. You can tell if they're full because if you push on one groove, they should pop out the other. Next thing you wanna do is get the other cap and you're gonna put two bearings in each groove. It'll fit three, but you only want two. If you put three in there, there be you'll pack too many bearings in the groove. Now this is the tricky part. Hopefully I'll get it right the first time. But what you need to do is put the cap on the carriage without the BBs falling out. So you want to tilt it just enough there. Next bolt it so the BBs don't fall out. And I designed these little clips so you could clip on so you don't accidentally make your bearing fall off before you bolt it down. If you have it right, your bearing should slide easily. 